Hi, and welcome to this edition of OCTV. And today we're talking all about corbels. Um, what is a corbel, you might be asking? Well, it's actually this piece here that's part of our roof. And it's ornately carved and it actually supports the cornice. And what the cornice is, is the place uh, in the roof where the roof meets the wall. And these are stuck up into there um, to support that cornice. This uh, corbel here um, is actually from the priority work area in the uh, south wing of the children's wing. And it's pretty ornate and very much in line with the Second Empire uh, style that the south wing was done in. However, it's not the only kind of corbel we have here at the mansion house. We've got ones that uh, are more plain, that uh, interact more with um, and are more appropriate for an Italianate building like the 1862 house. We also have ones that are really, really ornate that reflect high Victorian styles. One interesting thing about corbels is that the term corbel comes from the French, which means raven or beak. So in a way, these are little beaks that stick out from the wall. So in referring to our corbels here at the mansion house, which are part of the underneath side of our cornice, um, one should note that Unlike what Tom was describing in certain uh, situations, these are strictly decorative and architectural in nature. They do not structurally support our cornice. Um, that being said, on the south wing of the United Community Mansion House, we have 335 of these corbels. We replaced 86 of those out of African mahogany due to the rot resistance and the density of the wood. So our corbels needed to be replaced due to water mitigation, getting a lack of water mitigation and the moisture in the water getting in for decades on certain corbels in certain areas that deteriorated them from the inside out. Now here I have three corbels that I'm going to show you that we took off the building for preservation purposes and restoration purposes for our staff. This particular corbel, I will point out, is made up of different sections on the inside for what we call one by boards make up the interior of this corbel and on the outside you have the decorative scroll work made up of another one by board. On this corbel you will note that the interior is made up of only two boards and these are actually inch and a half in nature unlike the other corbel I showed you was one inch. On the outside of these you still have the decorative scroll work made up of the three quarter inch boards. So finally, what I would like to point out with this third corbel is no matter what they're made of, they all end up with this beautiful crown molding on all three sides as they're mounted to the underside of our cornice. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of OCTV. And uh, next time you're hanging out with your friends, you can show off your new architectural vocabulary with the word corbel. And next time you're at the Mansion House, just take a look up where you can see our brand new corbels on the South Wing. Thanks.